Hello guys, welcome back to Mr. Cloudbook channel. Today is the day one of the Mr. Cloudbook series. And in this video, I am going to explain how to install and set up the OpenVPN for your startup. If you want to start the startup, or uh, try to add or do the more secure way of doing your things for your application or like that. So better to use the VPN. Even for your SSH access or some application internal use cases, you have to use the VPN for the whitelist IP and for more secure. So today I am going to explain in a simple way with single command you can install the open VPN. Here in the AWS, you can go to the EC2 instance because we are going to create one simple instance here. So you can click on instance running or you can click on the launch instance. So if you don't want to create a open VPN in Mumbai region, you can create in some other region as well. Okay, let's go to the N Virginia. I'll create there actually in N Virginia. So this is United States now. I moved to United States N Virginia. Let's give the name again open VPN. Okay, this is the simple name and number of instances one and Ubuntu. So where my VPN will host on United States. Okay. So let's take 24.04 and 32 micro is enough, pretty enough. And you can see that on demand like that. So the price will be different here. Okay. So free tier it's eligible, but if you are going to take the for company, better to choose T2 micro or higher version. So this is enough actually. And for key pair, we need to create one key pair. So I'll going to create one simple key pair that is NV chain here. NV. So simply M create key file. So it will download automatically. Okay, to the downloads that is done here. You can see NV.pem. And for security group, you can create one or you can directly use the existing one. I mean, existing one means already you will get one default one. So take that one as well. Okay, default VPC, use it. That is pretty enough. And here, configure storage, 8 GB is enough for us. And GP3, and you can add volumes if you wanted to. And click on launch instance. I took only T2 micro for my use case. That is enough. Okay, so this will still initialize but we want to understand what ports we have to open okay so this is the open vpn install so this is the github page so this is one of the simplest way to install the open vpn set up your own vpn server like on debian ubuntu fedora centos arc like that so if you want to read blog that is here okay so they will explain how to set up vpn with wireguard here okay but we are going to set up open vpn installer okay so wide guard if you want to any other vpn access you can use this also like wide guard like wire guard install this is the another vpn so what is this the script what it will do and everything see phone from laptop or computer we can connect anywhere okay open vpn server encrypted traffic in the internet itself so this is ipv6 and everything so here this will runs on UDP and you can check that as well. So first of all, we will try to install it. Okay, just uh, copy this for now. Let's go here and select this instance and go to security. And here in the security groups, check. Okay, this is open all range. Okay, so better to open all range for now. Let's later we will make it secure. Okay, copy this and go to your terminal and use ssh i fan i it's in the downloads downloads and what is the nv.pem ubuntu at the rate of ip address enter okay so it will take some time so if not it's possible what you have to do is so if, if first time it won't connect i think because we need to add 22 here SSH access. This is all, but we need to update the inbound rule. Go here. 
so edit inbound rules so all traffic add a rule i'm going to add ssh here 22 from anywhere so from anywhere i can connect okay after i'm adding 22 here okay see now i'm able to connect so we have to provide s here okay it's saying the permission is not good so i need to update that permission downloads nv.pem okay i gave the 600 only i can log in to my particular server okay here it will take some time see i am connected now so first we have to do apt update here so that is done and come here and you can see that first get the script and make it executable and you need to run the script as a root have that tun module enabled the first time you run it you will have to follow the assistant and answer few questions to set up your own vpn so copy this and clear the screen let's go into the root sudo su okay i am inside the root and paste those commands first it will download open vpn install dot sh shell script and then it will make the permission executable like you can provide open vpn install dot sh okay that is then if you provide ls la so this is the script we downloaded now okay clear the screen next what is the command to run this one okay just copy this and paste it enter so which ip address you want okay so this is my private ip address for my server and if you go here and go to the dashboard go to instances running select the vpn and you can see the private ip here 172 82.54 82.54 enter so this is the public ip address of your vpn enter so you want ipv6 support no we don't need n so default it will use the 1194 port okay so we have to open this default 1194 and which port you want specifically take the udp okay so udp is faster unless it is not available you shouldn't use the tcp okay better to use the udp here so that's why they will already added the options here for you one go with it and the next see add got dns worldwide analytics what dns resolvers do you want for your vpn so they added automatically 11 enter and you want use compression no and you want to customize encryption settings no like that see so we have to click on continue meanwhile what i'll do is i will add this port 1194 per udp enter so it will install so i'll go to security again so in the security groups select the security group and edit inbound rule add rule so which one you want all not all udp but custom udp okay so which port you want 1194 for your vpn okay and save rules okay that is done and come back to your instance again okay you just need to add one more port okay so it will take some time to update here and it will loading here you can see that 1194 udp port added okay and if you come here so which client name you want okay here check it okay at the end you have to provide a name so what i will do is mr cloud book enter so just provide enter so you can give the password for your client or passwordless for your client so i don't want any password so that's why i'm going with the passwordless enter and you can see that see this is the client it's created for me okay everything okay inline created and everything so this is the mr cloud book and you can check here okay the configuration file has been written home ubuntu mr cloud book dot opn so vpn files you have to save like this okay o v p n so this is the main thing so download the ovpn file and import it to your vpn client okay so clear the screen 
ls hyphen la so this is the client i have okay mr cloudbook.ovpn so this is the main file you have to use it for your open vpn client okay so we have the open vpn server is there we installed everything that required for the vpn so what else we need so in order to use open vpn on your macbook or your anywhere like laptop computers or anywhere you have to download this one okay open vpn client so this is same for everyone okay and you can see that open vpn connect and if you go down so this is the open vpn connect client software for windows so for windows they provided and for the mac os also they are providing okay so this is for windows okay download open vpn connect v3 okay this is for windows okay so if you want for mac you can just provide mac here on search bar for mac so you will get for the mac os okay i think the page was not found maybe we can provide different name like open vpn client for macbook so the url may be different but you can click on here so this is for macbook you can read it from here itself so you can download the open vpn connect v3 and if you wanted to you can directly download here so it's asked to where to download and everything and for your downloads like that okay click on save so this is started downloading here you can see that open vpn it is 219 mb so this is the official open vpn connect for mac os developed and maintained by the open vpn inc okay this is downloaded and if i go here so it will open like this and you have to select which processor you are you have okay so macbook have intel processor and app silicon chip okay if you don't know which version i mean which you are using you can directly click on here and click on about this mac see there is an apple icon on top here and click on about this mac and you will get your details mac with intel or silicon like that so here you have to select the intel processor if it's intel okay double tap it and it will open like this continue and continue agree and continue install and you have to provide your macbook password here okay that is done and it's write some files and everything in your laptop okay in order to connect to your vpn okay this is done and close so i'll move to the bin okay so dmg file that is not needed move to bin so that is also done for now so open vpn connect is installed for macbook and windows they provided separately you can directly provide open vpn client for mac os or for windows like that okay so that is also done so we have everything see now i'll give what is my ip here so because we didn't connected yet to the any vpn for now right so this is the one see this is the ip address here and you can check it so this is in hyderabad telangana and what i can do is first of all open vpn client you downloaded it right so go to the applications here so you will get like this this is the icon for your application click on it and it will open for you so it will take some time but it will open like this see this is the open vpn connect you will get for now so we need a file here upload a file so we have to save that one okay so what i will do is i will use or you can use cat so this is the file okay client name whatever you gave and you have to give that one okay cat mr cloudbook dot vpn so this is the client key so copy this from here okay from client you have to copy okay copy this so what i will do is i will create one file here that is mr cloudbook dot ovpn like this enter and i will paste that client key okay so from starting client you have to use okay so from client you have to use this up to until this one okay tls script like this so this is the one remember from client you have to download at the end of tls script okay save it 
and if you don't know here cat mr cloudbook dot open enter so this is the ending okay see end open vpn static key one and starting is here okay see client so download this i mean copy this everything and save it in one file like this okay with ovpn dot extension so now you have to open this this open vpn connect and upload file and browse and select this one and open so this is my ip address right so you can change this name also if you want to do. profile name like that so moisture cloud book like that connect and you can see that i am connected to my open vpn now okay so here if you come so this is the ip address right last time 183.83.162 like that let's refresh this and let's see what is the ip now and you can check that see the ip address is 44.211 246 and 46 see it's saying virginia united states right so we installed the vpn and you can disconnect as well see i disconnected it and if i try to refresh again and if you don't know you can click on this application and you can see this is disconnected now okay see this is turn it off here okay see this is again 183 hyderabad and if i turn on again okay here and if i refresh and you can see it here okay this is connected now here you can see and this is now i am in virginia so this is how you have to install the open vpn and everything okay this is the day one for your cloud book series and we will try to see everything possible okay uh, how to do everything like self-hosted gitlab and everything in a simple and easy way and i hope you understand how to set up the simple vpn on your macbook with a single server okay thanks for watching the video and keep on supporting to mr cloudbook channel